my name is Kyle, this is my channel, and who's ready for another dagger video? Alright, so if you're stopping by here because you're looking for some dagger content, that's what I'm going to give you today. So, uh, as you saw in the beginning, we have a dagger and what it's a knockoff of, Gen 3 Glock 19. Uh, I do not have my dagger back, so anybody who's coming here from some of my other videos, no, this is not my dagger. This one is my uncle's uh, that I was able to get for him a few weeks ago now. Um, I was able to log into his account and was able to grab one at the 4 o'clock drop. This one is the gray and black, so it's not the all black version, but... Um, what I'm going to be doing is we're going to take the two and I'm going to, I've got my scale here, so we're going to weigh the two empty firearms so you can see what their weight is, that they're kind of comparable. Um, and I have a fully, fully loaded 15 round magazine, Glock magazine, uh, that we will put in both handguns and weigh, so that way you can see, we, we can see if there's a, a difference in weight between the two. Um, I will say I do, just picking them up, the dagger does feel lighter, so we'll see how good my arm scales are, but I think the dagger is going to win on the the lightness too so uh, then we'll move on from there I'm going to kind of just to uh, answer a few of the little questions that I've seen pop up here on YouTube in the comments section and uh, also on the Facebook groups I've seen some questions so I'm kind of address those issues and questions and then I'm going to strip the Glock down and show you the parts compatibility onto the dagger and I will point out the main differences that I can find between the two inside the frames because yes there is a difference even though they're supposed to be modeled after each other the dagger does have uh, some proprietary uh, parts in there so um, I'm gonna go ahead and take the camera off the stand flip it around and let's get these on the scale and see uh see what their weights are so let me do that real quick all right so we'll start with we have an empty dagger no magazine all right so it comes in at one pound 5.3 ounces Let's see what its counterpart comes in at, of course. Empty, empty. Oh, how about that? So the Glock is actually lighter. So my arm scales are a little bit off. Let's try that again. Make sure that, it... yep. One pound, 5.3. One pound, 5.0. All right, well, that's interesting. All right, so now let's throw in a fully loaded magazine into the dagger. And what is that top the scales at? One pound, 13 ounces. Almost one pound, 14 ounces. Okay. Zero it out. One pound, 13.4 ounces. So, 
the Glock, act, the Glock Gen 3 actually comes in just a little bit lighter. All right, so now that we've gotten the weight, let me go ahead and put the camera back up on the stand. All right, so the first thing that uh, I see a lot of questions about are the magazines, the P mags that ship with it, and how they're loose. Yes, they are loose. No, as of right now, I have had zero issues. This dagger has had zero issues, even though this magazine is loose. But this magazine in the Glock is also loose, just not as loose. Okay, so now also, people wanna know how, The dagger looks with the Glock mag in. So, of course, there's the Glock mag in. A whole lot slimmer of a profile. Me personally, I like it with the Glock mag. It just uh, overall just looks better like that. But also, you still do have the play. So it's not just a P mag thing. It's it's the gun, but I have not had any issues because of this play. Second uh, question, comment, concern that I've seen online, um, and everybody, well, not everybody, but uh, some people seem to really question is, I don't know if it's gonna show up on camera, but everybody shows this slide play. You can kind of see it a little bit. Yes, now it does. When you pull this trigger with no magazine in here, the slide does, when you pull the trigger, it pulls down until it breaks. And then the slide goes back up. Okay. This is an issue that is only noticed when there's no magazine in. So if I take the, the P-Mag that ships with it, you will notice with the magazine inserted in the gun, slide play is gone. It does not have any more play. So people worried about the movement in the slide um, is a little overreaction because that is only when there is no magazine in the gun. Once the magazine is in, there is no slide play. All right, so now that we addressed the magazines, the slide play, now we're gonna go ahead and let me strip it down. Let me take the uppers off of the dagger and the Glock. And we'll look at the inside. So the first thing you're gonna notice is, yes, the dagger comes with a steel guide rod. Everything else on the slides, outside of the cuts, are identical. And to prove that, Here's the, the Glock upper, as you can see. Mm, yeah, there you go, see, Glock. Dagger frame.
function. Just like it should. And that is the Glock Upper Gen 3 on the dagger frame. Everything works just like it should. And it's also the same way around. You got your dagger upper with the Glock lower. And there it goes. Now I can kind of move on to, uh, let's move on to the differences of the frames. So, we'll bring the camera in a little closer here. So, we'll start at the back. As you can see, that's all pretty much the same. Where the difference comes is in the locking block. So the dagger, the locking block is all one piece held in by the roll pin here in the trigger pin. I have a feeling this is where the some of the problems are with mine. Something to do with this area and this, the slide stop. Not exactly sure, haven't had my, haven't had any communications with everything they found yet, but I did want to show, yes, the triggers, a Glock trigger. The back half is all Glock, but the front, don't expect to get a Glock locking block. Mouthful there, Glock locking block. Uh, don't get one of those and expect it to be able to go in because as you can see, they are different. That is about the only internal difference I can find between the two. Uh, everything else is Glock Gen 3. I recently came across a comment online. Somebody was asking about the sights. So when you have the slides upside down sitting on the sights, they are identical in height so from what I can tell the sights are not taller on one versus the other they are the same height now maybe the difference comes in the actual sight notch it seems like maybe the Glock has got a smaller notch versus the sights on the dagger but the actual physical height of the sights are the same so that's a that's a little video showing the differences between the Gen 3 Glock and the dagger from Kind of just all the little random information I've been finding online of people asking questions. Just kind of wanted to answer those. If you have any questions, post them down below. I do my best to kind of answer them. And uh, I'm pretty good about staying on top of those. But uh, yeah, if you have any questions on the dagger, I can do my best to answer it. Uh, I'm hoping to have mine back. Uh, hopefully soon. So that way uh, I can get it out on the range and finish my testing and make sure that mine lives up to 
all of these other ones that are out there that are performing exactly like they're supposed to. So I hope you enjoyed your dagger content. Hopefully I'll have mine back so that way I can get a video made here on mine really soon. I've been waiting and waiting and waiting and I didn't want to wait anymore to make another video so as I could get my hands on a dagger as well as a Glock, I decided to borrow it so that way I could create some content. So thanks for stopping by and have a great day.